Hey guys, so I wasn't going to do it, but I am. I am going to take you guys in my prepper pantry and organize it and change it around a bit just for fun. And just to make sure that I'm looking at my canned goods and rotating them and using everything. And so come along with me.
Okay, so I went through all of my bins. I'm trying to turn the light on. Okay, um, and this is like the free stuff I got from school that I'm going to be dispersing through family. Um, and here is some of my canned meats and canned soups and chilies uh, that I don't want in my pantry right now. Um, I might take more out and put it in here. We'll see um, how it goes. Um, this is some canned milks. And these are all like the expiration dates for our out, so I don't have to worry about them. Um, these are some extra canned milks. Um, uh, chili beans and uh, what else is in there uh, tomato sauce and just extra vegetables all that kind of thing and that will go in a different closet for now um, I'm gonna be using those in some recipes that's why I pulled them out um, so they're just gonna chill right there for a little bit but like I said everything back there I got for free and I'm gonna pass it along to some family members along with uh, that bag right there um, I just moved it out to get I am going to take those croutons and put them in a jar to be eaten up. Okay guys, so here is my pantry. So I put here, it's going to be a weird angle, but up there I put um, so a Velveeta block and then that's like a pasta salad, like the suddenly sides. And there's some Velveeta um, packets other than that. Um, and I actually got some biscuits up there in that box. Uh, box. Other than that, it's all the same. It's my macaroni and cheese and my pastaroni. Those things are so good, guys. And the rice aroni and the uh, scalloped potatoes. And then those are my cheese tortellini that I want to use in a certain recipe. And then I got, here's my glass jars of one. These are just pretty. <laughs> uh, one is, um, come on, guys, lasagna. And the other is spaghetti. I looked forever to find a match for that jar. Um, and then I have some, sorry for the weird angle, I have a line of croutons and then a line of uh, stuffing. I got those for 25 cents. Here is my baked goods, like cupcakes and frosting and stuff for birthdays or whatever. Um, these are some little soups that I found so that I don't have to take up so much room in my pantry. Um, and they were really cheap, so and they're really good. I have them sometimes for lunch um, when I don't have anything else, and they're super delicious. So, um, and then I got my tuna, and there's also some chicken in there as well, some packs of chicken. These are actually cheaper than the canned tuna or chicken right now. Sorry, not tuna. Um, and then this is all seasoning, and then these are the noodles I got from the Mexican market and the. Uh, what is that guys uh, rice noodles and then if you come down here I have one bag of the uh, yellow rice left I have some other yellow rice but in storage but this is all I'm wanting to use right now and then those are my glass jars and then I decided to keep the greens right there you guys saw me move them but I just figured I'll keep them right there it's not a big deal um, they're not selling these at my Walmart anyway so I might not be able to get them again so um, I wanted to leave them there so I don't have like a permanent place down there for well nothing's permanent but um, so you can see I have a gap for pasta sauce now I don't know when I'm gonna go prepper pantry shopping I don't really need to it's not like a necessity but you know if I go and I want to get two sauces or three sauces there's a spot for it so and then I moved some of my smaller canned soups over here in the corner because we don't eat a lot a lot of soups um, and so this was just really like a stock up item that my kids actually enjoyed uh, these flavors um, for if anybody gets sick and you know if I'm sick and I can't cook soup then there you go or if they just want some um, and then I got next to that one row of cream of mush cre cream of chicken and then the rest is cream of mushroom and then I got my canned milks and then I left the gap for when I find this milk if I can find it and then we're gonna move down here and I have my tuna and my canned chicken and canned ham is behind the tuna. And then I've got a, a little bit of spam behind the Vienna sausage. So it goes spam and then Vienna sausage. Um, and then I have my canned soups and I got these beef tamales for my husband to try again. He hasn't had them in a long time. He asked me to get them. And then I got the mushrooms in a row and uh, this is the uh, the fish or whatever the I don't know what those are called they're fish and then I have my olives and potatoes and carrots 
and then down here is my uh, baked beans and there's black beans behind the baked beans and then just all the different kind of beans you can imagine is right here so it's like chili beans mixed chili beans kidney beans light and dark uh, chickpeas great northern beans pinto beans so just to give you an overview these are glass jars all the way down so when you see the other side and then this is like the pasta sauce right but then there's their glass jars and then I put the fruit on this side because I don't have enough fruit to fill it all in but uh, you know it goes uh, I don't really need that much canned fruit we don't even eat that much but um, this is gonna kind of probably stay like that for a little while and then those are the vegetables so like fruit vegetables and then beans just to give you an idea of how we had it before and then that's what I changed so let's go over here uh oh so up here is the same sorry for all the movement up here is the same um, we have the apple sauces and those are the pouch ones and then behind that I believe I have some peanut butter filled uh, uh, pretzels we enjoy those so I have another one of those and then I stocked up on these Nutri-Grain bars because they're the cheapest um, and I have a few bars left and then um, I got some chocolate up there <laughs> and then just one more bag of chips and you've seen that in the other video the coffee cakes um, and so these are where the croutons ended and so I have like a little row of um, fried onions and then those are my taco shells and then I didn't really do uh, anything to this top one, guys. It goes all the way down. I didn't do nothing to that, just so you know. Um, but those are my biscuits and my potatoes and my muffins. And on the other side of the muffins were the cupcakes and stuff like that. So, And then on the other side of the biscuits and potatoes over here was the tuna and stuff. And then I found these cornbreads, so I lined up a row of cornbreads. And then these are just like little snacks that didn't fit in the snack cabinet, like dried fruit and things like that. So... Uh, pretzels our favorite uh, I actually had these in the camper and that's why it's out of the box but usually my uh, Cheez-Its wouldn't be out of the box so those are spicy ones and then those are my glass jars again keeping it cute so here is my fruit now kind of spread out and I'm going to be filling in the gaps once I do do a prepper pantry haul and I'll just take note of what fruits we do like because we do like the fruit, fruit cocktail we do like the mandarin oranges We've never tried the apricots, but that was like during the pandemic. So that's why I've got like a, a different mixture. But yeah, so I will be filling in the gaps. Um, now these ones I do use a lot of, and especially during the summer. So that's why I left this gap right here because I'm gonna need more of the pineapple. I'm gonna need more of the strawberry and cherry filling for, uh, I put it on top of um, cheesecake. And then I always have pumpkin and stuff. So I always have that stuff. The apples I actually got free from the school um, during the pandemic. I don't usually buy apples like that. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. But I put them there because I intend to fill that with cherries. So I don't mind that that's there. Usually I don't put things in my pantry that, that I'm not going to keep long term. I'll usually put it in like a bucket like this. But um, I wanted that space for the cherries. So when I organized it, I made it. To where I had that thick of a column, if that makes sense. But um, I love these sweet potatoes. It makes great, great sweet potato casserole, and I found them in a smaller thing, so I think it fits better in here. Um, and then here is my green beans, peas, corn, and then I have some cream corn over here. There's four rows of regular corn and four rows of green beans, and then just the two rows of sweet peas. And then on this other side was the carrots. Um, and then this is my tomato products. So, and then my green chilies on top. So, by the way, try the chili uh, roasted or chili ready tomatoes. Those are super good. But anyways, and then I have like my refried beans to end off my beans over here. So that's how my pantry looks. I just wanted to give it a little refresh. Um, and I'm going to be taking the bins out of my closet and putting them in a different closet. So I kind of needed to organize it. And so, yeah, now I've got the food all ready to give to my family, and we're good to go. So, um, I'm probably, like I said, I'm probably not going to do a proper pantry haul for a while, but hey, you never know. With me, I say one thing and then I do another. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um,
I just needed to get that stuff out of my closet. <laughs> but yeah, um, I need to do a little bit more rearranging and cleaning in my house today, so I gotta go. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.